guys welcome to my channel and today we will discuss about the semester second assignments for the subject decision science and it's for june 2022 cycle so before starting this assignment uh, let me just give you a brief about uh, the basic things i think you uh, are into second semester so most of the students are aware of this stuff like uh, there are 100 marks for each subject and uh, uh, the assignments cover 30 marks and there are three questions per second, third and third week uh, each of 10, 10 marks and uh, maximum word limit is 1000 words plus minus 10 percent is acceptable. Two important things need to keep in your mind is the plagiarism and second is the copy case. So uh, if uh, you are just uh, getting some content from the internet, just try to write it in your own words. Do not directly uh, just uh, write the same thing in your assignment otherwise you will fall into plagiarism maximum 20 percent plagiarism is allowed and if we talk about the copy case so once you are done with the assignment don't try to share it with your colleagues um, otherwise if both will upload the same assignment both will get the zero marks assignment should be in the word document and uh, should be uploaded in the pdf format so if you talk about the decision science assignment so uh, it's a little bit tricky one uh, not a straightforward again it's it's the like uh, the similar to the financial accounting you already have studied in the first semester so uh, it's it's little bit uh, uh, numerical base and uh, you need to put your brains in uh, just solving uh, the stuff so let's see about the assignments uh, and if you see this is the assignment for second third year, and third b which is being available on your portal so let's see what is being asked in the assignments uh, so the first question is three airlines uh, version of our airline uh, Amira uh, has 50% of all the scheduled flights airline Bias has 30% airline Chinar has the 20% on time uh, rates are 80, 65, 40% respectively draw the probability to diagram you may use any software for this like MS Paint, MS Office etc. Second is a plane has just uh, left on time what is the probability that the uh, airline Amira right. So, firstly, uh, what we need to uh, refer, refer to page number 137 and refer to page number 130. So, going to the page number 137. So, if you see the page number 137 and uh, 130. So, on page number 137, it's mentioned about uh, uh, the probability, about the diagram, how you can just draw uh, the uh, uh, tree diagram for the uh, uh, for uh, this question because it's being asked in the question probability tree diagram so firstly you just need to explain a little bit about the probability tree diagram what is this all about right so i think it's it's already being mentioned over here going to the page number 137 and uh, after that you just need to draw the diagram right so if you want to draw this diagram you can just refer to this particular diagram in this format you can just simply draw it right the second part after that it comes about the going to the page number 130 so it is being asked uh, the question uh, the uh, case study which is being asked it's all about the conditional probability it's simply the occurrence of one event when the second event has already been occurred the formula is px upon y is uh, px and y upon p y so this is the way how you can just calculate this thing and after that you just need to draw the probability diagram and calculate the probability uh, as per the case study right so uh, the first question is pretty much clear the going to the second question rashmi dan manufacturing the seller of the kashmiri kahao uh, so e-commerce website she wanted to know the effect of the spending in advertisement of Kawanda on the sales along with the other factors number of sales relative customer satisfaction rating for the research she had gathered the sales data in the following table uh, along with the other necessary information Define dependent independent variables, write regression, model equation only, re the regression analysis in Excel, write the interpretation of the regression statistics um, and over table, write the interpretation of the by referring p value t stats uh, on significant uh, effect on independent variables on sales. Right. So let's see each of the thing one by one. So go to the page number 275. So firstly, it's about the uh, basic regression. So here it's being mentioned about the dependent and the independent variables. So you just need to explain what are dependent and the independent variables. The second one comes uh, the regression model with equation. So going to page number 278. So this is the formula. So y equals to mx plus c and this is the complete equation. So simply you just need to write this equation. And after that run the regression analysis as per the case study. So this needs to be done in the 
एक्सेल फॉर्मेट सो मेनी स्टूडेंट कम ऑफ के सर वी आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी ऑप्शन हाउ टू जस्ट टू द रिग्रेशन एंड वट नीड्स टू बी डन सो आई विल जस्ट शो के शू हाउ वी कैन जस्ट डू द रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस लाइक आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग एनी रेंडम एग्जाम्पल ए बी सी डी एन ई एंड द फैक्टर्स आर एक्स वाई जी और मे बी जी वन जी टू and i'm just putting any random values so i am just putting any random values definitely you just need to uh, copy the uh, table which is being asked in the question it's it's basically the second question so we just need to copy all this stuff right so if i just try to copy paste and i think the copy paste won't work so i just putting any random values right after that you just need to do the regression analysis so this is the normal uh excel which you are having so go to the files option file go to the options in options you will get add-ins you just need to put one add-in so go to the add-ins manage excel add-ins go analysis tool pack just click on okay right now if you see the data you will get an option of data analysis right if, if you see if i remove this stuff if maybe i can just remove this stuff you will not get so ideally this this way how your excel looks like there is no data analysis tab so to putting it all together just go to this go to this and you will get the data analysis tab click on this after that go to the regression it will ask for the x range and the y range suppose i am putting the y as this range putting the x range as this one maybe i'm just putting the labels and clicking on okay okay so this is the way how your regression analysis will come up right it will be having so many things multiple r r square adjusted r square values uh, standard error now it comes the anova values and these are the t value p value what is the 95% uh, more than 95% so this is the way how you can just directly take a snippet of this and just attach it to your word document so this is the regression statistics uh, and uh, after that going to the page number 291 so if you go to the page number 291 so this is the way how your output comes straight if, if i just showcase you this one so it's multiple r r square this value observations and an over regression residual interpret number of beds uh, and coefficient standard error so so many things obviously there are some plus minus to it and how this thing has been explained right at the top of the standard error is this what is the t value what is the anova what is this so in this way you just need to explain the same story for your answer whatever answer you are getting maybe suppose if you are getting the multiple i values 0.5 it is the significance of this what are the total number of observations what is p value t value 2.05 what it signifies p value 0.175 how it will signify what is the important so you just need to interpret all this stuff in your own words right so second question is pretty much clear now going to the third question so 37 two parts third and third b according to the one survey of india 75% of the instagram users love reels suppose the 25 instagram users randomly selected have the approved have been approached in the university located in the villa palace they have been asked about the status of likes and dislikes of the instagram reels what is the probability that exactly 15 of them would agree Uh, but it's the probability exactly twenty of them. Exactly, it's it's the same question. Fifteen and twenty, just the value will get changed. So you just need to go to the page number one sixty one. So it's about the binomial distribution. So it's being mentioned what is binomial distribution, what is p value, what is one minus p, what is the sample size, what is the population size, uh, uh, what is how to solve the binomial equation. So all this stuff is given over there. So you can just refer to this and calculate the probability as per the case study. Right. The second question is: Bharat Darshan is an internet-based travel agency where the customers can see the videos of the city they want to visit. The number of hits uh, a daily is a normal distribution, random variable. What is with a mean of ten thousand standard deviation of twenty-four hundred? What is the probability of getting ten thousand and nine thousand hits? So it's go to the page number one sixty-eight. Yeah. So here it's being mentioned about the mean and the standard deviation. So the similar stuff is given for the binomial distribution. Maybe it's for the normal distribution. 
so you can just explain it in reference to the poisons or maybe you can say in reference to the normal distribution and after that you just need to calculate the stuff which is being asked in the question as per the case study right so i think uh, this is also a straightforward question uh, nothing much tricky to it and uh, uh if, if if you are still not sure about the content or maybe you are not sure of the formula and the answers uh, maybe you can just give a try on your own and just share it to me at jsa.ma.gmail.com so that i will just go through the formulas and just see the answers are correct or not or from the content perspective as well and will share you my feedback and the comments to it so that you can make the relevant changes uh, if there's any and if you have any doubts or facing any issue Feel free to connect to me at ngc.ma.gmail.com. Do like, do subscribe, and stay connected for further videos. Thank you so much.